what we're going to describe today are both our mission uh, of the uh, asteroid retrieval mission that weaves in science, uh, technology, as well as human spaceflight. We're also going to talk about our focused grand challenge effort to find all asteroid threats to human populations and know what to do about them. This is something that we are thrilled to be a part of. Again, NASA is not the only player in asteroids. We know that, and grand challenges are about leveraging those additional uh, partners. We are today going to be looking not only for partners and innovators and industry to get involved in the grand challenge, but also in our um, asteroid retrieval mission. Our uh, esteemed panel, a treat that we have uh, this morning to hear from. Um, we have first a picture of, uh, of one of the objects that was very large with a today uh, has the same characteristics as Vesta, and Vesta is a little bit unique. Um, but we see asteroid. That's the path forward, and uh, appreciate what these guys have shared with you. They've done a good job kind of laying out what we've been working on for the last couple of months. Um, off of planet Earth to continue the search, because again, as Dr. We excited about how we could get involved and got a lot of people who were previously not interested in space and not interested in uh, things naturally on its own, and then we just deflect it. So there very well could be some other. On this chart, the AEH, AEHF uh, satellite, uh, many of you may have followed in the news. ...and utilizes our Orion and SLS just as it was envisioned. So in a very nice sense, it ties 